वेलकम बैक टूडे लेट्स इम्बाक ऑन अ कैप्टिवेटिंग जर्नी एज वी रीविजिट द टाइमलेस क्लासिक डर्टी डांसिंग दिस लेजेंडरी मूवी हैज लेफ्ट एन इंडेलिबल मार्क ऑन सिनेमा हिस्ट्री इवोकिंग चैरिश मेमोरीज फॉर मैनी ज्वाइनर्स एज वी डेल्व इन टू द मैजिक ऑफ द पास्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग द ओरिजिनल आइडेंटिटीज एंड एजेस ऑफ द टैलेंटेड कास्ट टूगेदर वील विटनेस देयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री Without further ado, let's dive into the enchanting world of Dirty Dancing, celebrating its enduring legacy with the entire cast then and now. Number one, renowned for his iconic portrayal of Johnny Castle in Dirty Dancing, Patrick Swayze was already a familiar face in Hollywood, with notable roles in films like The Outsiders, Young Blood, and Red Dawn. The role of the enigmatic dance instructor not only defined his career but served as a gateway to lead in blockbuster hits like Point Break, Ghost, and Roadhouse, showcasing his diverse acting prowess. Swayze so continued to captivate audiences in the cult classic Donnie Darko in 2001, adding another dimension to his filmography. However, the latter part of his career was marked by health challenges. culminating in his untimely passing from pancreatic cancer in September 2009 at the age of 57 his swan song on the silver screen was in the drama film powder blue co-starring with ray liotta and jessica biel swayze's legacy endures through his wife lisa nimi who shared the screen with him in various films including the 2003 dance film one last dance a testament to their collaborative partnership in both love and art number 2 Jennifer Grey as baby houseman before she took on the iconic role of baby houseman in dirty dancing Jennifer Grey had already established herself as a notable actress she had made a memorable impression as genie in ferris bueller's day off and had previously worked alongside patrick soas in red dawn their on screen chemistry was evident setting the stage for their dynamic in dirty dancing however despite the film success Grey faced a challenging period after being involved in a notorious career collision car collision with Matthew Broderick around the time of the film's release. Nonetheless, Jennifer Grey continued her career in Hollywood. She appeared in guest roles in various movies and television series and lent her voice to animated shows like Phineas and Ferb. In 2001, she married actor Clark Gregg. known for his role in Marvel's Agents of Shield and the couple welcomed their daughter Stella however they eventually divorced in 2021 one of Jennifer Grey's standout achievements in recent years was her victory in the 11th season of ABC's Dancing with the Stars competing against notable figures like CT Warner and Michael Bolton she showcased her dancing talents and claimed the title Number 3 Jerry Orbach celebrated for his Broadway prowess delivered a memorable performance as Jake Houseman in both the theatrical and cinematic renditions of Dirty Dancing rising to fame in the 1950s with lauded roles in productions such as Guys and Dolls and Chicago Orbach's Tony Award winning turn in Promises Promises underscored his talent post Dirty Dancing or batches star sword optimized by his iconic portrayal of detective Lenny Brisco in the original Law and Order series where he commanded the screen for an impressive 12 seasons and extended his presence to various spin-offs beyond the realm of live action or batch showcased his versatility as the voice of Lumiere in the Disney's Beauty and the Beast 
His unwavering commitment to Briscoe endured until his 2004 passing due to prostate cancer, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Number 4. Cynthia Rhodes As Penny Johnson, before Baby entered his life, Johnny Castle's primary dance partner was Penny Johnson, portrayed by Cynthia Rhodes, an accomplished dancer and singer. Rhodes made her film debut as a dancer in the musical Xanadu. This early success paved the way for numerous dance-oriented roles in other musical films including Flash Dance and Staying Alive. Cynthia even secured a leading role alongside Tom Selleck in the Michael Kahn's film Run Away. Before gracing the screen in Dirty Dancing, following her memorable appearance in Dirty Dancing, Cynthia Rhodes continued to make her mark in the entertainment industry. She collaborated on music videos with her husband, musician Richard Marx, and briefly joined the pop group Animotion. Rhodes and Marx tied the knot in 1989 and welcomed three children into their lives, but sadly, the couple divorced in 2014. After the birth of her children, Cynthia Rhodes decided to retire from the performing spotlight and shift her focus to her family. Her last recorded acting role to date occurred in the 1991 film Curse of the Crystal Eye. Number 5. Jack Weston brought Max Kellerman to life in Dirty Dancing. Marking one of his last film performances, Kellerman, the owner of the resort pivotal to the film's storyline and Johnny's workplace, is an old friend of Jake. Weston's acting journey began in his youth, and after military service, he ventured into Broadway, earning a Tony Award nomination for his role in Woody Allen's play The Floating Light Bulb. Transitioning to film, Weston left his mark in notable productions like Allen's, The Four Seasons, and a Golden Globe nominated performance in The Reds. His versatility extended to television, where he led sitcoms like My Sister Elin and The Hathaways, and made memorable appearances on shows like Gun Smoke and The Twilight Zone. Weston's final on-screen appearance was in the 1988 sci-fi comedy Short Circuit 2. Tragically, he succumbed to lymphoma in 1996, leaving behind a legacy of a seasoned performer with a rich and diverse career across stage and screen. Number 6. Jane Brucker as Lisa Houseman While Baby was immersed in her whirlwind romance with Johnny, her sister Lisa found herself entangled with some unsavory characters. Robbie, played by actor Max Center, was the man responsible for Cynthia Rhodes' Penny becoming pregnant, a situation that led to the Penny missing the crucial dance competition where Baby and Johnny's connection deepened. The actress portraying Lisa Jane Broker had just two television acting credits to her name before securing her role in Dirty Dancing. Notably, she also composed the song that her character performed in the film. Following the movie's release, she continued to take on the modest television roles but eventually stepped out of the limelight. Her last credited acting appearance was in a 2009 short film titled Holding for Miss Kelly. In her personal life, Jane tied the knot with actor Brian O'Connor in the 1986, and together they welcomed a daughter named Sally. 
However, the couple parted ways in 1993. She later found love again and is currently married to photographer Raul Vega. The couple shares a daughter named Raquel. Number 7. Kelly Bishop delivers a captivating performance as Marjorie Houseman. Showcasing her remarkable talent owned through decades in the industry, renowned for her Tony Award winning role in a chorus line, Bishop seamlessly transitions into the character of Baby's mother with grace and depth. Post Dirty Dancing success, her career soared across theatre, film and television with enduring fame as Emily Gilmore in Gilmore Girls. A Year in the Life reaffirms her timeless appeal. Bishop's versatility extends to compelling TV roles like Fanny Flowers in Bunats and the nuanced Eleanor Lambert in Netflix's Halston. Beyond her on screen achievements, her personal journey includes two marriages the passing of her second husband, Lee Leonard, in 2018. Kelly Bishop stands as an enduring force in entertainment, leaving an indelible mark through her talent and resilience. Number 8. Looney Price as Neil Kellerman Since his role as Neil Keller in Dirty Dancing, Looney Price, now 61, has ventured her far beyond the days of chasing after baby on screen. His career has taken a notable turn towards directing and producing in the world of Broadway, where he has achieved both success and consistency. Behind the camera, Price has stayed the creative ship for various productions. Notable highlights include directing Neil Patrick Harris in Company in 2011, collaborating with Emma Thompson in that 2013 rendition of Sweeney Todd, and helming the critically acclaimed London revival of Sunset Boulevard alongside Glenn Close in 2016. Priest's talent as a director has earned him recognition with two Outer Critics Circle nominations for his outstanding work and the crowning achievements of winning an Emmy Award in 2000. Number 9 Wayne Knight's journey in the entertainment industry is a tapestry woven with diverse roles and indelible performances. In Dirty Dancing, Knight's early portrayal of Stan marked the inception of a remarkable career. His breakout paved the way for impactful roles in acclaimed films like JFK and Basic Instinct, before itching his place in cinematic history as Stanley Snedry in Spielberg's blockbuster Jurassic Park. However, Knight's enduring legacy extends beyond the silver screen. Immortalized as new man in the iconic sitcom Seinfeld and Don Orville in the third rock from the sun, Knight showcased his versatility. Transitioning seamlessly into animation, his distinctive voice resonated in major films like Hercules and Toy Story 2, as well as beloved cartoons such as Shaolin Showdown and Cat Scratch. Knight's vocal prowess became synonymous with chilled out nostalgia. His career trajectory remains steadfast with recent live action and views like 12 Mighty Orphans in 2021 and ongoing contributions to animated series like Harley Quinn and Infinity Train. Wayne Knight's enduring influence and multifaceted talent continue to captivate audiences across generations, 
ensuring his place as a stalwart in the entertainment landscape. Number 10. Max Center as Robbie Gould Max Center's portrayal of Robbie Gould in Dirty Dancing firmly establishes him as the film's primary antagonist. Not only does Robbie impregnate Penny early in the movie, but he also collusively refuses to contribute to the abortion she urgently needs. To compound his despicable behavior, Robbie makes inappropriate advances toward Lisa. His actions take an even darker turn when he allows Johnny to shoulder the blame for Penny's pregnancy, following Jake's directive to keep baby away from him. Ultimately, Robbie betrays Lisa by engaging in an affair with a married woman. Following his rule in Dirty Dancing, Cantor briefly worked on one more film, Fear, Anxiety and Depression, in 1989. However, he made a significant career shift, leaving acting behind to pursue journalism. Cantor joined the Village Voice in New York City, where he focused on covering the city's issues related to drug problems. Tragically, Max Cantor's life was cut short in 1991 at the age of 32 due to a devastating heroin overdose, marking a sorrowful end to a promising talent's journey. Number 11. Neil Jones, in the role of Billy Kostaki, played a crucial part in the uniting Baby and Johnny in the Dirty Dancing. Beyond being Johnny's cousin and devoted friend, Jones skillfully portrayed the character who orchestrated their encounter and navigated the sensitive territory of arranging Penny's abortion, albeit with unfortunate repercussions. Dirty Dancing remarked Jones's noteworthy debut catapulting him into a diverse career encompassing film and television. Post the film's success, he ventured into minor roles in acclaimed films like G.I. Jane and The Devil's Advocate. His talent also earned him recurring roles in hit TV series like Rescue Me and Law and & Order – Criminal Intent. Particularly, memorable was his portrayal of Sergeant Major John Sixta in HBO's Generation Kill spanning all seven episodes, although Jones hasn't been prominently featured on screen recently. His lasting impact is evident. With his latest acting credit dating back to the 2011 short film Carbone Breaking Point. Number 12. Miranda Garrison as Vivian Prisman in the midst of the film's unfolding drama, Robbie G becomes entangled with a married woman named Vivian Prisman. Seeking solace with Robbie after her advances towards Johnny are rebuffed. Not content with this liaison, Vivian devises a vindictive scheme against Johnny by falsely accusing him of stealing her husband's wallet with the intention of getting him fired. However, the truth prevails when the actual culprits are apprehended. Miranda Garrison, who portrayed Vivian and contributed as an assistant choreographer for the film alongside Kenny Ortega, who later directed High School Musical, showcased her versatile talents. Firstly, she served as the choreographer for the 2004 prequel film Dirty Dancing, Havana Nights featuring Diego Luna and a cameo appearance by Patrick Swayze. Secondly, she took on the role of a judge in the British reality competition series Dirty Dancing – The Time of Your Life. Charles Honey Coles, embodying the character of Tito Swayze 
in dirty dancing creates an indelible impact despite limited screen time and dialogue the musical rhythms introduced by tito at the summer resort serve as a captivating backdrop enhancing the film's ambience cole's a renowned tap dancer gained prominence in the 1940s alongside charles atkins his tony award winning performance in my own and only showcases his theatrical prowess solidifying his legacy while tito suarez may not be extensively featured in memorable exchanges cole's contribution to the world of dance and entertainment is unmistakable beyond dirty dancing cole's graced broadway and appeared in films like rocky 2 and the cotton club portraying both himself and fictional musicians his final cinematic role in dirty dancing marked the end of an illustrious career but his influence persisted through subsequent performances charles honey coles who succumbed to cancer in november 1992 received posthumous induction into the tap dance hall of fame in 2003 honoring his exceptional contributions to the art of tap dancing Number 14 Paula Truman as Mrs Sukemaker Ye again fir se kar dena <coughs> Number 14 Paula Truman as Mrs Sukemaker Sylvia is one of the resort's elderly guests who observes and interacts with the film's main characters including baby and Johnny Sylvia is one of the elderly guests at the resort who observes and interacts with the film's main characters including baby and johnny her stage career commenced with the grand street folly reviews in 1924 and by the end of that year she made her dramatic debut in the little clay court in 1930 she was part of the review suite and law which featured stars like fanny bryce george jessel and james barton throughout the 1940 and 1950s She appeared in productions such as Kiss and Tell, For Love or Money, and Wake Up, Darling. Truman passed away from natural causes at New York Hospital in 1994 at the age of 96. Her husband, Harold Steerer, an architect whom she married in 1936, had predeceased in her 1976. Number 15 Mo Pressman portrayed by Gary Goodrow is a pivotal character in Dirty Dancing working at Keller Mans Resort where the film unfolds born in Malone New York Goodrow with a rich background in theater and performance left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry his involvement in both stage and film versions of the connection showcases his versatile talent As a founding member of San Francisco's improvisational ensemble, the committee, the contributions to the city's satirical scene. Boasting over 50 screen appearances, Goodrow's career reached new heights with the groundbreaking National Lampoon's Lemmings in 1973, featuring emerging talents like John Belushi and Chevy Chase. Engaging in the FTA tour, an anti-war agit prop a performance he collaborated with icons like Jane Fonda Gary Goodrow's legacy marked by creative collaborations and a commitment to social issues came to an end on July 22 2014 in New Jersey City New Jersey leaving behind a lasting impact survived by his son Jason and daughter Georgia As we bid farewell to the enchanting journey through the lives and careers of the iconic dirty dancing cast from 1987 to the present it's ever inspiring to witness the enduring legacy of these exceptionally gifted individuals in the realm of entertainment your appreciation for this nostalgic voyage down memory lane means the world to us share your cherished dirty dancing moments in the comments below 
and for more thrilling then and now updates on your beloved stars don't forget to like and subscribe heartfelt thanks for embarking on this captivating journey with us thank you